in previous videos I talk about how strong the wind was as so the result of a cold mass of air moving from Arctic latitudes into mid latitudes into the northwest of Spain. In front of us we have the Atlantic Sea and uh, high in the sky we have this configuration for the band of clouds which are the result of again strong winds but in this case they are higher in the atmosphere and they are triggered also by the contrast between warm air which is the one with the water in the liquid phase we call clouds but in contact with a cold mass of air in the shape of a bubble which is above the Iberian Peninsula and is triggering this wind and is shaping the configuration of the clouds with this long elongated streams some people might realize the similarities with the cold trails from the airplanes and something similar can it be even observed when uh, working with the wind tunnels streamlines is what it's called the shape thrown by molecules of air or any fluid actually moving and uh, in fluid dynamics which are applied with liquids and also with the gases actually that's the basis for the design of cars and everything that moves throughout any fluid and we have to remember cars move throughout a fluid which is the air because air is made by molecules in a density which is lower than liquid but which offers a resistance which is also named as drag required for anything to fly because it offers support so you can fly if you have something which offers any resistance and the res resultant force between resistance and the aerodynamics of any of your either constructed material or biological shape 
is what creates lift and allows the object to fly and if you inverse the forces what you have is a resultant force that instead of allowing you to fly what it makes is your car to stick into the ground that's why we use spoilers and winds in cars which we want to move fast without lifting from the ground so as you see the shape of a cloud has a relation with the shape of any car but it, in this case it allows us to understand what is happening in the atmosphere if you really know how these clouds are formed and actually because it feels very cold even with the sun as high as it is well I'm Diego Fernandez Sevilla PhD in environmental biology and that's all for now